guys, this is Scott with Flippin' Customize, and today we're doing something a little bit different in the shop. So I almost have like this weird little studio set up with a bike in the background, and the bike you see back there is a 2005 Honda Shadow 750. Very, very, very popular bike to build a metric bobber. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be tearing this bike apart. We're gonna have a whole video series. Um, it's gonna have some parts from various bikes and we'll, we'll get into that, we'll explain that. But today we're just doing, we're gonna have a sit down with the owner, which we don't always do. Uh, he's a good friend of mine. His name is Josh, he's here today. It's like a guest, you're like a, you're like a celebrity. <laughs> so we're gonna chat about the bike, kind of things we wanna do, things he wants to do. And then I guess as the build goes on, you guys will kind of see how things change and decisions change and hopefully he's happy with the end result. He will be happy. So let's talk about the bike. Josh, say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. On the channel, we'll put some customized today, and we're talking about this 2005, I didn't scratch, no worries. Honda Shadow, uh, it's, it's the Aero, so the shaft drive 750, or VT model. Um, we're gonna make some big changes to this thing. Uh, Josh has been after me for a few years to build him a bike. Uh, it does take some time and some space, and it's been hard to find either one of those. Uh, but we've, we've committed to doing it this year. I upgraded some powder coat equipment, so I've got a bigger oven. We're gonna be stripping this bike down to the frame, changing the color completely. It's no longer gonna look like a, an old man bike. Dude. Old man bike, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so where this bike came from, uh, originally was, it was part of an estate sale that I was lucky enough to, get, uh, to be part of and get this bike. The engine was stuck, we got the engine unstuck, went through, serviced the bike at the beginning of the summer, and then he went ahead and rode it all summer, actually, with no issues whatsoever. And then, hey man, we want to do a, we want to do this into a bobber. I had done a bobber for myself, a metric bobber back there. Um, it is on our channel. It's made out of a Vulcan. It came out pretty cool. We like the bike a lot. Uh, I like building them, so it's, it's fun. Uh, there's a ton of guys out there doing these Honda Shadows, and we're just gonna add to that, but make it our own flip and customized flavor. <laughs> So I thought I had this cup. This comes off, this comes off, this comes off. Oh, the light came out, and now, I mean, I now everything's off the rails. I'll get us back. I don't want any gloss. I thought you were missing gloss All in there. Oh. Can All I play? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. We got things back under control. The wife is here, but not here. <laughs> so, anyway. So we got a complete teardown coming on, and Josh has been struggling with colors, and it's not like it's a game changer. I get it. We really need to, to kind of think colors before the bike is blown apart because if it's in pieces, it's a little harder to visualize than it's sitting here looking like a Pepe. Sorry, but that's kind of what it looks like to me. So, anyway, with some, with some great advice from my wife, we got some colors picked up. I'll show you those in a minute. But before we get to that and I take the camera off the stand, I just want to talk a little bit about kind of the bike overall. So. I, again, we're not getting into details here, but the handlebars have got to go. Old man, wide handlebars. He likes more of... Angled up. Kind of like an ape hanger, but not full on ape hanger. Kind of, I don't know if you see the background, we have like a nine inch ape, mini ape on the bulkhead back there. Uh, so something along that line. Keep in mind, there's going to be nothing left on this bike that is chrome. Nothing chrome. Nothing chrome on the bike. Everything's blacked out with a green theme. See, well, I'll show I mean, you that. Not a green theme. It's not. No. Just the wheels are green. It's got a green theme. It's a black theme. No, it's black. Who's the builder here? Black, black. with a green accent. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> the tank. The tank is going away. The tank currently right now has a speedometer and everything built right in it. It's going away. We're not using the tank. Um, Josh has actually done a lot of research on these metric bobbers. He's got some visual. He's visualized what he in his head what he wants. I just need to get in his head. And only see the back part of what's in his head. But anyway, this is the tank right here. It's actually a tank off a of Honda Rebel. And it's kind of that peanut design type sportster tank, if you will. It's narrower, but not too narrow like the peanut tanks. Um, we're going to be going ahead. This is going to be stripped off completely, by the way. And I'm going to be putting a, a mechanical, if you will, fuel gauge. Oh, that way? Yeah, so okay. I, don't, I don't want it that. So not straight up and down. From at an here angle. to here. 
It's gonna have clear tubing in it. I don't know if you guys saw my shop truck, but I have a keg fuel tank. It has the fuel line right there on the side. Same idea for that. And it's probably a manually vented tank. I'm gonna make some mounts for it. That's kind of the, the fuel tank. Um, no air filter, he's going velocity stack, um, which, is, which is fine. Um, the pipes, uh, he got from a gentleman online. It's a uh, motorcycle Jays. Yeah, it's um, Justin Alexander. Justin Alexander, pretty famous guy as far as making pipes go. He does a phenomenal job on his motorcycle pipes. So why do we need to make pipes when he he, he has this down? Um, the guy does a fantastic job. We're going to include those on our on our uh, on our build, and we'll put the link for his website in the description because he he, he uh, kills it on the pipes. All right, we're talking tires now. It's got black walls on it now. My bike has black walls. He was very undecided for a while on white walls, black walls. I actually was sold and, and definitely pushed him towards white walls, even a wide white. But this is a perfect batch uh, tire. So you've got a front and rear tire that is the wide, or the white wall. They're not a super wide, but they're a wider white wall tire. It's going to look sharp. Now keep in mind, everything on this thing is going to be low gloss or matte or textured finish. Um, with that being said, the whole rear end of this bike is getting basically cut off. The fender's going away, um, the rear seat's going away, the seat's going away. It's going to have the solo seat, um, Springs. Springer seat with the metal pan and a uh, like a brownish leather theme on the seat. Um, what else do I want to talk about? Oh, lighting, LEDs. Yep. Everything's LEDs. He's got a halo in mind for for the uh, the headlight. He found some strap type uh, blinkers that he likes. I don't, it doesn't matter, it's for him, so he has to like it. Um, but there's going to be some changes as we go, and that's fine, that's what you want. That's what creating a bike and building a bike is. And some people are like, oh, it's all bolted on apart. It's not all bolted on parts. We're cutting the tank up, we're cutting the frame up, we're doing some modifications. This will have some type of flip and customized theme, logo, something cut into this bike, I guarantee it. All right, engine wise, all blacked out. It's going to be. <laughs> It's not getting a V8. That would be cool. <laughs> we're gonna LS swap this bike. No, we're, we're not. But continuing the theme of the colors, I'm gonna show you that in a minute. Electrical, we're gonna simplify the electrical and the cables. All the this crap hanging off everywhere. We're gonna try to clean that up as best we can. Mirrors, we haven't really talked about mirrors. Are we doing mirrors at all? Are we doing drop uh, mirrors? Probably a, like one or two drop mirrors. Very one or small, two drop minimal. mirrors. Yep. yep. We'll probably do something like that. Again, all blacked out. Electrical is gonna get simplified. He doesn't want um, the kill switches, the blinker switches up there. They're coming down here. Um, this panel section is going away, and we're going to simplify the electrical. We're going to hide that into something. There's canisters out there. Same thing with the overflow. Uh, we may do something a little, put our own spin on it for hiding electrical. Yeah. So let me show you the colors. All right, guys, here we go on to the colors. Check this out. It's almost like a gator hide. Um, we're going to do the tins on the bike in that. Um, there was a lot of back and forth on this, so we're doing the tins on this. Here's the wheels. Check that out. It almost has a goldish uh, metallic into the wheel. It's going to be badass, and there may be pinstripes with that as well. The frame itself is kind of more of a... What did they call this? Matte black. It's a matte black with almost a texture. slight, slight texture. And this here, this is wild. We don't know. Maybe. We're going to get some samples and try it um, and see what we think of that. But that's the basic colors of this bike. So, let us know what you think. I'm sure you will. Drop a comment. And that's going to bring us to the end of this introduction video. Why is my wife laughing at me? I don't know. Doesn't matter because this build is going to be big. It's going to be fun. And everybody's going to see it come April. Or at least I told them it'd be done by April. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it's done by April. So please stay tuned. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Hit the like button. The next step. We're tearing into this, and I'm going to get some uh, powder coat samples in so we can start showing them what it's going to look like on the bike. So thanks again, Flip and Customize.